Hey guys, it's another 30 days of WrestleMania, and this time we're talking WrestleMania 28. The I think they said the third time ever it has been held outdoors. Uh, so uh, this one going to Miami, uh, home of The Rock, of course. And this was a fun one, and this, you know, just getting that part where it's uh, just a huge 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 spectacle and i love it you know even the last few years but they went outdoors for this one and we see this this trend continuing uh the year after of course uh which is very special in my heart you'll find out why later um but uh, still i and seeing the beginning of the yes movement uh, uh daniel bryan getting smashed in the first match of the night and hearing the yes chance the rest of the night, like at least the first half of the show, you still hear yes chants. And again, I talked about on WrestleMania 27, this four year kind of storyline that broke down with Undertaker and with uh, Shawn Michaels and Triple H at the end, the end of the era. And it really was. And, and it's a nice package. If they ever did, I don't know why they don't. They would take a DVD and put, you know, like they did with The Rock and, uh, and John Cena, um, uh, their, their story leading up to the matches. Uh, you could take that Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, Triple H series of matches, put it together, put the storylines around it, and you have a nice story to watch uh, in tremendous matches. Um, and of course, you know, again, kind of seeing the fall of John Cena here, uh, which becomes the story of the redemption when he goes back for WrestleMania 29 against The Rock, uh, and seeing that build up, and again, going back to 27, seeing that first step of it. Poor Miz was really just kind of a pawn in this thing. Um, but uh, and you can see how how amazing they did uh, of a WrestleMania. Too. So it, it keeps getting bigger and bigger. And, and they really fill out the rest of the, the, the show with a lot of fun stuff to really kind of uh, keep keep you with it. Uh, this was the year of the uh, Johnny Laurinaitis, Teddy Long battle, uh, which was a team, team Johnny versus Team... <laughs> Teddy, uh, so that was kind of interesting and fun. Um, we had a tremendous match. Forgot how good this one was. Uh, CM Punk against Chris Jericho. Story going into this, of course, was Jericho talking uh, talking down about his family. Um, you know, saying they're drunks and everything while you're straight edge, and uh, and uh, really turned out. And I had a stipulation that if uh, uh, CM Punk got too angry and got himself disqualified, he's, he'd lose the belt, um, which is a nice little element that they kind of threw in there. But a tremendous match. Definitely worth going back and check that out, at least. Um, so, WrestleMania 28 from MA. I can only say it that way because I wanted to say it like the uh, Will Smith song, but it just doesn't work out. Let me know what you thought of it at Sorgatron on the Twitter at Mayhem Show for the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com for this and all kinds of other videos and other ways you can subscribe and follow us all over the place. And, of course, please subscribe to YouTube where you can find this and other uh, crazy videos. The guys with the, the WMS rap parties are, are, are tremendous. Or the, 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 the watch parties are tremendous. The wrap-ups, too. Yeah, I, I just combined two of them. Wrap-ups for Raw, Midweek War, and, of course, their uh, uh, watch parties where they've been up till now watching lately uh, Wrestlemania matches it's like you sync it up and it's like a commentary track with a bunch of fans and you can become part of it um, so thanks for that thanks for everybody checking all that stuff and checking everything out until next time this show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com